It was the word no. We teach our children this word mainly for their own safety. Welcome to a program one in our English video learning series for grade six. From the Art of Education and Multimedia project in Namibia, our lesson today discusses parts of speech. We will talk about the direct and indirect speech, question forms and negative forms of sentences. We hope that by the end of this lesson, you will be able to correctly use different parts of speech, including direct and indirect speech, question forms, and negative forms. Enjoy the program with us. Do not leave the classroom. Hey, no TV games until your homework is done. No sweets before lunch. Don't touch that. Now viewers, direct speech is when we quote the exact words that the speaker uses. We place them between quotation marks which look like these. Before and after the quote of the speaker's exact words. The quotation marks are also called speech marks or inverted commas. What's wrong? I heard you screaming. Me? No, I didn't scream. Yes, you did. I heard you screaming. No, no, a few times. This is Isolde. She is telling Beata, the mother of the baby, that she has heard a screaming. She tells her the exact words she used when screaming. I heard you screaming. No, no, a few times. Oh yes, now I remember. I saw Susie running towards the unprotected power plug and I totally panicked. We see that direct quotes are written in quotation marks or inverted commas. When reporting that speech, we write a comma after the introductory verb, which is scream here and which goes in front of the open quotation. Exclamation marks, quotation marks, and full stops must appear before the closing quotation marks. Neighbor, neighbor, neighbor! Come, Marco! I want to tell you something. Come here. You'll never believe what Isolde almost did to poor Susie. What did she do? She used, I had her telling a friend that she used a toy to make Susie run to the power plug. She made Susie run to the power plug. How terrible. Are you sure? My dear, I heard her saying Susie was running to the power plug. I heard it with my own ears. Now viewers, of course, this is not what the mother said at all, but this is probably what the gossip lady heard, and she's making her own conclusions. Sometimes, this is a danger of reported speech. Indirect speech or reported speech is when we do not use quotation or speech marks to quote the speaker's exact words, but we report in our own words what they said. She made Susie run to the power plug. How terrible. Are you, are you sure? I heard her saying that the baby was running to the power plug. I heard it with my own ears. So in writing indirect speech, we remove or do not use the inverted commas, question marks, 
or capital letters as in a quote of direct speech, unless it is a name, of course. Now, let's look at the question form of sentences. Daddy! Daddy! Hey, my big boy! How's my boy doing? I'm well, Daddy. Okay. Mom said she will not buy me sweets again. Mom said she will not buy sweets for you. Why not? I don't know, Daddy. Were you naughty again, innocent? No, Daddy. Okay. Let's go find out from Mom. Viewers, we see that questions are used when we want information. We get several different kinds of questions like yes questions and no questions where we want the person responding to the question to give us a yes or a no answer. You're not here, okay? Other kinds of questions use what we call the W words. They ask what, who, which, whose, when, where, why and how. Of course, how is spelled with an H and not with a W. These questions are unlimited. Many different answers can be given. Dad, when are we coming to soccer moon? What is this about soccer moon again? But where is soccer moon and how far is it? Who talked the soccer story into your head again, innocent? But why are you not Finally, let's look at the negative form. Are we going to no, my son, we are not going to soccer pool. With the negative form, no states that it is not true or it's not going to happen, it is not allowed, and so on. The negative form sometimes sounds impatient and not very polite. Are we going to soccer pool? No, my son. We are not going to soccer A negative sentence or statement states that something is not true. Add the word not after the auxiliary verb. Viewers, today we learned how to use different parts of speech correctly in sentences in the English language. The direct speech uses quotation marks to indicate the direct words of the person speaking. Quotation marks falls away when the speaker's words are retold by someone else. When using indirect speech, we add an introductory verb. The verb changes the sentence from direct to indirect speech. Question forms are used when we want information, such as asking yes or no questions, or why, what, where, when and how questions. And the negative form indicates that the earlier statement or question was not true or will not apply. It has been a pleasure to be in your company on this program. Lesson 2 in our English grammar series will be on reading with understanding and emotions expressed by a poet. Until then, take care.